All right, guys, what's going on? We are coming to you live from Gainesville Raceway in Gainesville, Florida. We're doing some great stuff here in the pits because there was no racing today. We're talking about drag insights. We got Bobby on the camera right now. We'll be flipping that later. We've got the legendary Yo Ken, Kenny Mealy, stock racer, class racer extraordinaire, and the former Yo Ken from Muscle Mustangs and Fast Forwards Magazine. We got some stock eliminator guys here, super stock guys. And uh, basically what's happening is there was no racing today. We had nothing but rain as gorgeous as it looks now. Unfortunately, it rained all day long, which was a real bummer, but what can we say? We had a couple of beers. Unbelievable. So the, there is actually a blue sky up there. Today. It's gorgeous right now. It's chamber commerce weather. We hope it continues. The forecast isn't looking great, but that just gives us more time to talk about Drag Insights. And uh, speaking of Drag Insights, it's a brand new app. It's all about statistics, analytics. It's designed to help racers and also to be entertaining. Kenny's checked it out. Yes, it's absolutely, I can't believe my, uh, my numbers. It looks like I'm a good racer. Like I pretty, you are a good racer. No, 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 no I'm not. It's got, it's got uh, it's What's great. your average reaction time, Kenny? Uh, it's 12, not, isn't it? No, it's not that good, but it, I'm used, I thought it'd be a lot later. I think it was like in the 40s, which I'm ecstatic. I wish I could be in the 40s. See, he didn't even know his own stats, so it gives you your stats. Yeah, it's, it's, We're doing this cool. is the genius behind ClassRacer.com, and right. he didn't even know his own stats. So. Boom! 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 Come, come here, baby. We're live. We're live. We're Sterling live. Simmons. Say hello, man. <laughs> Sterling Simmons, right this here. Year's champion. <laughs> That's right. This year's champion. We actually interviewed him for the uh, driver interviews page. Uh, See how that worked out for you? You hooked me up, Gavin. What? What we are. So, Sterling, you should see your stats on. Uh, are you familiar with Drag Insights? Yes. There you go. See, we're, we're pretty, known. What do you we're think? known. It's pretty cool, ain't it? We it's are very known. Good. Absolutely. Very cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what's going to happen with the Drag Insights app is you can sign up for the app for the year. You'll be eligible for contingency. Yep. There you go. Awesome. See that? When is now, it? I'm sorry. When is the contingency starting? When is it? Uh, it is going to start immediately. Oh, if yep. If you sign up this weekend, Got it. you will get, you know, contingency. Now, the way we're doing this is there's a monthly cost for the Drag Insights app. I don't even have a microphone on, so I don't even know if anybody can hear me. Sterling, I'm going to borrow your microphone. Hey, you know what? Let's flip. I'll, I'll, I'll film you because Bobby's got the details, so yes. Kenny's going to hold my beer. Yep. I got my hand in the way. Sorry Kenny, about me, that. So Bobby's going to give you the details. Drag Insights, it's the latest, greatest. Yes, we got some information on a Drag Racing Edge magazine. We had a news item in there app.draginsights.com now you can go on there as of right now the program has been free for all users you can go on you can look at all your stats and most importantly for racers like us we want to know how our opponent is going to shape up so you look at your opponent's stats you can see their average reaction time their average et their preferred dial in you can look at all their lane stats that feature those features are going to go away soon okay as being free as being free uh, you will have to sign up for a premium membership in order to be eligible to see all those stats, as well as a really cool uh, year-long racing calendar. Color-coded calendar, you can see every event that's going on that weekend that pertains to NHRA, NMCA, uh, a couple of different sanctioning bodies, association races, anybody that's willing to send their schedule in it will be added to this uh, calendar. Now so, Bobby, we're talking premium, so usually people associate the word premium with a very expensive item. We're not very expensive. We're talking $4.99 a month. Nice. Or $50 for the year. Your choice. Smoke and deal. Smoke and deal. So that signs you up for our contingency program, which as of right now, uh, is, is contingency is eligible for NHRA national events, divisional events, national opens. We might do some select races also. If you win class there, you're gonna get a little contingency. Um, it extends you for the year, for a year. So if you sign up for a year and you win and are eligible for the contingency, you get another year. If you are a Kenny Mealy and you win all the time and you just are like, all right, I'm, I'm five years out, you can gift that year to somebody else. You can say, oh, you can cool. say, hey, Sterling, I want you to have right, that I'm going to spin around this way because I'm going right into the sun. I do have a so question. we're going to go this way. Is, uh, Turn around, Kenny. What's your question? Me, I'll get off the bike. 
Is it runner-up too? I'm gonna come runner-up is gonna get a little extension. Oh, okay. This yeah. is Kenny's motorcycle, by the way. He's He's his pit bike. This is my pit now we're trying to get Alicia Anderson, who is the the brainchild behind this program, onto this live. She was supposed to be here with us. Unfortunately, some family events uh, took place, so she can't be with us. She is in Atlanta. We're here in sunny Gainesville, and if we can patch her in, we'd be happy to do that. Yeah, that would be cool. Yep. So, in talking a little bit about what we're doing here. We're talking analytics, and like Bobby mentioned, you can size up your opponent. And if you look at really anybody who's successful in drag racing, motorsports, sports in general, football, basketball, it's all about figuring out your opponent. Because in drag racing, we always say you just have to be better than your opponent, right? You could win with a 50 light and two over if your opponent's worse. So you can dial in or you can tailor your runs if you're that good or that bad to the person you're racing. You get to really look at the analytics of the person who you're competing against really for the first time. You can really see, do they have a lane preference? Are they bad at night? Are they good at night? What's their average reaction time? So if you, you know, you're coming up against somebody who's got an 020 average, probably like Kenny, you're gonna probably need to go after the tree. You know, or you can if see- if you are going into, uh, in stock and super stock, we want class eliminations. You wanna quickly see how your opponent in class runs how much they tune their car up in those certain situations yeah do you have a head do you have a heads up is this person prone to breaking out are they getting most of their wins by being you know x close or under the dial there's so many different analytics is weather going to be it there yeah weather so another feature is when you are on that calendar you can click on the event that's happening that weekend and it'll tell you the track info basic uh technicals and specs of the track, altitude, and uh, a weather forecast for that weekend is supposed to be coming. I'm not sure if that's on there yet, but that is but definitely in the work. Yeah. So Kenny, real quick, because so, yes. we're, we're just going to be live for a while, and we got 11 people watching. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Class Racer. What's it all about? What do you do on Class Racer? Know. It's a, it's a forum for super stock and stock. It's a forum for all class classes, but stock, super stock and stock have seemed to take, take it all over. and. Um, uh, you just want to go what's happening. The tech forum is really big. You want to know about Stock Limited? You want to start racing stock and super stock? Go to the tech forum. Plenty of guys will help you out. And we just started it 20 years ago as a kind of just a little hobby, and it turned into what it yeah, is Yeah, but today. so much more, right? You guys, like you said, you have a regular forum. You, have, you oh. do live feeds. I do live, live runs all the time. So any race, and a lot of other races will jump in and do the live runs too. I'm not the only one who does it. So I'm at the Gainesville. I know it's raining and everything, and we just give you real-time data where you don't have to wait for you know, NHRA to give you, you know, information, you can get it real time. So Class Racer, when we're at the races, you got real time, but yet it's just talking about stock and super stock. And you got and it for amazing. sales section if you're looking for cars, oh my trailers. God, the, the, the parts section is huge. It's a, it's a very popular because it's very unique stock and super stock parts. You know, you're not going to find them at, at, you know, any place else except basically Class Racer. People are selling stuff all the time. Right. What now, else? we also got some other guys here. Bobby. Another exciting oh, thing here goes that I Bobby. wanted to talk about before I forget is the Dragon Sight's power rankings. Oh, those are the best. So this has okay. been very talked about. Let me put this microphone back on here. I don't know what we know about the rankings. Power rankings. So we are putting together, we've been doing it all the past on your, uh, so phone there. So I did, uh, Tim just let me borrow his phone. Thank you, okay. Tim. So for the Gator Nationals How are you doing, Phil now, Mandela? He's watching. I got him live. Yeah. I thought it was behind me. So for national events so far, we've started this. I started doing it with stock and super stock first. We included the dot ninety cars. As more data comes in for the dot ninety cars, they will, uh, you know, obviously be more and more included. I wanted it to be accurate. I just don't want to throw numbers out there because I'm putting together algorithms and all kinds of formulas to come up with these power rankings. So it is more or less a. Uh, you know, taking into account your win percentage, your average reaction time, your number of runs in a car, your uh, average ET and mile per hour, your number of wins and event wins, and your number of wins at this particular track. So all of that is being factored in to the power rankings. So that comes up with a power factor. We use all those numbers to come up with a power factor. And then from there, we use that to come up with a probability, a win probability. So just right now for this weekend in Stock Eliminator, the highest power factor in Stock Eliminator is Jeff Strickland. His power factor is 27.5 and his win probability is 14.5%. And then from there we did nine more drivers. We have Randy Lynn Ship, 
at a 12.6%, Randy Wilkes, 11.6%, Brenda Grubbs, 8.97%, Houston Rakes, 6.98%, Larry DeForest, Tom Russell, Jeff Atkinson, Doug Duell, and Tim Stickles, who's right here. So, Bobby, real quick, where do you find the power rankings? Can we see what it looks like? Can you hold your phone up? But is this posted on? This is posted on the Drag Insights uh, Facebook page right now. Okay. As well as shared to other pages. People have shared it to their personal pages. How far is the data go back? This data is going back to 2015 right now. So we're going back six plus years. Yep. So um, we got we got a power rankings guy. Tim's walking away. He's getting a fresh beer. It's very important. <laughs> Bring me one, bro. And now also the, uh, for this event, first event, we included a field probability. So let's say, you know, if we if we had fantasy stock eliminator, and I said, Ken, you you have. Uh, hundred dollars you can buy a certain amount of drivers well Jeff Strickland having the highest win probability let's say he would cost sixty five dollars in this case so now you're limited to thirty five more dollars you can only purchase right. maybe a couple more drivers or the field so the field win probability that means there were there were fifty three or fifty four stock limiter drivers on the sheet ten of them have already Strong. been included our top ten are in the Probably. in the uh, Power rankings right now. Oh, they're all here. So the remaining 43. So these were the 10 highest oh, okay. rankings that they, we posted. That are, that are, so the remaining 43, we put them under what's called the field, right, right. and they have a win probability. Someone from the field, if you pick chose the field, 23.3% win probability. Bobby is a data. numbers master. Yes, it's a lot of. Uh, so, Kenny, well, can you handle these numbers? No. I need my calculator. <laughs> <laughs> and then in Superstock, Anthony Bertozzi has the highest uh, power factor. His is a whopping 49.59. He has a great history at this track. He's got so many wins under his belt. His average reaction time, his average ET, everything's working in his favor. And his win probability is 16.37%. Put your money down. Where number two uh, for this event is Mike Volkman, who's a 9.78%. So that's a big, big jump difference. from one to two. Yep. And then we have Kevin Reiner, 8.6%. However, Kevin Reiner, that was based on, we do number of runs in a particular car. So Kevin Reiner is driving a different car this weekend, so his power rankings would then change. This is also not counting uh, the number of drivers that have dropped today, because these power rankings yeah. were put together yesterday. We don't know. We have right, so Kenny, let me throw this to Kenny for a second, or some of the other guys who are here. How do you see this as being a tool that you might use to improve your racing program? Well, just from my vantage point, just going by the Beyonders and the Fletchers, they already know who they're going to run. They have all that data. They, most of it, they know who they're going to run. They know what kind of lights. They know their their back. And this, they probably don't like this because they do all their work. I don't have to do any. I just have to <laughs> bump, and then it's there. I know everything about the person. So to me, for a guy that's kind of lazy, perfect. I mean, I'm there. It's 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 a no-brainer. The price is right. Everything's right. And being an IT backyard IT guy, I know how much work goes involved in this to do this. Something right. Like this. And it's something that you can do right in your car on your phone while absolutely. you're strapped it's, in. It's an absolute no brainer for any racer not to have it. You know how when the tools first came out, even weather stations back in the day weren't popular when I first started racing, but then it pretty, before you knew it, everybody had one. So right. It's just, it, to me, it's a tool it has to be. And you know, some people, oh, you know, I don't want this out. Some guys, and I don't want to say names, but somebody was going to come up with it sooner or later. So, you know, to me, it's, it's going to bound to happen. That's what technology is. That's it. You know, Super guess, when Super guess started out, there was no throttle stops or anything. You just lift it. And then it developed. In fact, Super guess is almost as old as it started in 1970-something. Just saying. So technology is there, and you, just, you can't stop technology. And I just think it's great. That's I, right. I just love it. I love it. And yeah, and we're, I only need, gonna grow, we're only going to grow the, with this. Right. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> yeah, well, we know that. We know you're a tech, technological genius, though, for no, coming up with that Class Racer website. That, yeah. He claims so. that he came up with the name, but it's wrong. I came up with that name, and I want that right on record right now in front of everybody. It's on record. We got it. We got it on film. I don't care if I came up with the name, but I was a part of the original class racer. We were part of it. All right, I, all right. I wanted something simple, simple like we'll, Do I get a kickback? To be continued, we yes, are on yes, number four. On. Peter yeah. Diagnolo yeah. is number four with an 8.49%. In, in Superstock. In Superstock. I'm surprised that higher. Irvin Johns, 8.43%. However, we heard Irvin Johns may have gone home, so this is going to change. Brad Zaskowski. He's still here. Okay. All, right. All right. So Irvin Johns is still in the building. Sterling has spoken. Or on the premises. On the premises. Uh, Brad Zaskowski is 8.32%. Kent Hanley, 8.21%. We have a tight tight group yeah. here. Yep, yep. Todd France, 7.48%. Logan, is it Ballinger or Ballinger? Ballinger. Ballinger. All right. 
6.8%. I believe he's a young cat. He's only about 20, 21 years old, maybe? 18. 18, younger than I thought. Mark Alvey, 3.29%. And then the field, the field win probability is 14.19%. Sterling's like a human app. He's got all the scoop on he's, everybody. He does, thank, he does know a lot. Thank God he's here, yes. right? Yes. And now Super Comp, we, 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 we dipped our toes in with Super Comp based on the data that we're pulling in and that we have. So Raymond Miller III, his power factor is a whopping 50.39 yes. with a win probability of 13.58%. That's strong. That, that, that's that's strong. kick and drive, right? Yes, sir. He does well here. Uh, Mike Robolato is number two. I believe he's a D1 yes, driver, 11.87%. No um, Sherman Adcock, 9.63%. He's a big name. Uh, Ross Laris or Laris? Uh, Laris. That is Laris Insurance, I would yes. assume, right? Correct. Okay, Ross Laris. 9.15%, and then Bob Pros, 8.61%. Since we only did five drivers, and I can tell in Super Comp, the, 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 there's a lot of good drivers. Super Comp is a driver's class. Uh, field, the, win, uh, the field win probability is 47.16%. That goes to show you how many good drivers are in Super Comp. It could be anyone's game in Super Comp. Uh, and then Super Guess, John Laboose, power factor, 51.41. Huge. Win probability 13.68%. Jim Perry Jr., 9.36%. Rob Kropfeld, 9.18%. Jonathan Anderson, 8.12%. Frank Altilio, 6.45%. And then the field win probability in Super Gas is even higher than a Super Comp, 53.2%. That means there are some killer Super Gas drivers that weren't in this top five that are still killer drivers. So, so as we get more data on Super Comp and Super Guess, we're going to extend that to at least a top 10. And as we get more and more data, we're going to just show the whole field's uh, power ranking and win probability. So, Bobby, we've been, we've been on for a little while. we got a bunch of people viewing. I think we should circle back and talk about exactly why we're here, because this is on your page, right? And bring in, you, let's Tim. bring in one of the other drivers and yes. talk about, uh, you know, maybe get some more insight, drag insight. Drag insight. From... Uh, <laughs> from another guy who's behind the wheel this weekend. We got a lot of drivers. We do. So let's, we're here for Drag Insights, a doing a cool video. Uh, the 2021 Charlotte, not the four wide, it was the September two wide national oh, event yeah. stock winner. Mm -hmm. Tim Stickles here, Tim. Thank so you. Tim, you tell us a little bit about the car you race, why you race it. Well, it's a uh, 1980 Malibu, Chevy Malibu 305 combo. Um, it's been in the family. My Father Pete built that car from uh, ground up, and uh, we've had it for, God, over 20 years now. Uh, it's a good combo, uh, 232 horse, 305. Um, we've had some good luck with it. Um, you know, it seems to just be a pretty consistent car, and we go around, so. Uh, luckily, so. I'm noticing a Canadian accent. No, New Hampshire. I know him. <laughs> that was a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. But, so, uh, what, how do you feel about uh, the Drag Insights app, website? How do you feel it will help your racing program? It's great. Um, you know, obviously, being a D1 guy, we come down to D uh, Division Two. I usually try to make this trip every year. It just happens to be my slow time of year. So, um, for me, coming down here and, and racing against a bunch of out-of-division guys that I may not know as well, um, it gives me a little bit of an advantage to kind of look them up see what lane they may or may not like, uh, how their typical reaction time is. Um, so for me, it's a very helpful tool. Um, you know, I, I typically research everybody before I run them, uh, especially if I don't know them. So again, being from being an out of division guy, it's, it's, you know, gold as far as I'm concerned. Now so. you're in the power rankings. Is that like a stick your chest out kind of moment? This is the <laughs> first race with no, the power No, you know, I just, last year I came here um, with a semifinal finish uh, at the Gator Nationals. Um, last weekend I went five rounds and unfortunately fell asleep in the uh, quarterfinal round. So, you know, I, I've been close a couple times. I'm hoping that maybe this weekend that we can, you know, maybe seal the deal. But uh, uh, to be honest with you, I'm just honored to be in the power rankings. There's a lot of good guys here that run and a lot of strong competition in Division Two. So, um, you know, I guess all we could do is uh, see how it goes. That's fantastic. Yeah. I think we're really offering uh a lot of information and the possibilities for analysis for people for $4.99 a month. Yeah, yep. draginsights.com and sign up as of right now. Mm -hmm. Get your username, uh, check out your stats, 
get in there while it's still free. It's only going to be free for very limited time. Hours. Right it's it's definitely helpful for any. Oh, and like, so basically, here's another thing that's kind of cool. Is so you do get like your own page essentially, so you can upload photos you can talk about your sponsors if you have sponsors you can talk about maybe your business you can upload youtube links if you have a youtube channel so it's more than just hey going online and looking up other people's information you can keep track of your own stats it's really simple to use and it's kind of fun actually so you can I, go down a rabbit hole and spend so much time on it trying to find you know how fast the uh, fastest D-stock automatic car is in the country. Actually, this 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 would have helped this gentleman out a couple days ago. He had to run in a class runoff D-stock automatic, right? Can you hold this for a minute? And after you turned the red light on, by, uh, about how far out in front of your opponent were you? Two tenths. Two tenths of a second. So had you known that you might have had this opponent covered by two tenths of a second? Yeah, I would have waited So a this bit. is a, 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 yeah. a situation where... Drag Insights app probably would have helped you plan that that race strategy a little bit differently. So tonight I'll be signing up for Drag Insights. Also, the other thing that I think is a great piece to it is, uh, you know, you're busy with life, business, kids, just life, super fast. So you don't have time to do all the research. You know, you got to keep your head in business, family, all that. You can just pull it up on your phone. You're at the racetrack. All right, you get a rain delay or in the morning, you drink a coffee see who you got to run that day pull up their stats i don't have time to sit there and you know write everything down and i'm usually a one-man show so the appealing part to that is i don't kind of i really don't need any help i have my you know my weather station for the car or whatever and you just pull up this app and i am technologically impaired so if i can do it anybody can do it right and you know? it it's hard when you are at the track by yourself. You got to put the fuel in. You got to check the, the motor. You have to put the air in the tires. Yep. You have to pick a dial in. It helps when you have a team there doing oh, yeah. doing things. So to make race strategy, which is a huge part of this, you just can't brush that off. No. Like you said, so makes like it said, nice and easy. Yeah, right. One touch away. So I'm at the bottom of the power ranking. So start <laughs> at the bottom, work your way up. Gives you something to shoot for. Absolutely. You know, if you're, I compete against myself. You know, some people compete against other people that are here. You know, better drivers. You know, what are we here for? We're here to push ourselves to become better drivers for ourselves. So, you know, I'm not out here to set the world on fire. I'm just here to do better for me. You know. Right. So. And you are not at the bottom of the power rankings. You just weren't included in that top ten. That's this okay. Week, okay. That's okay. That doesn't mean you weren't number eleven. Uh, all right. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. That could be a good thing because you're under the radar. Exactly. Under the radar. Underdog. That is the top ten bullseye. <laughs> Mr. Stickles has a bullseye on his back. Oh, now. I love him. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Um, show everybody. Show everybody the. Um, the stickers and talk again about the. Um, Right, so Drag Insights, as of right now, is a free program, but for a limited time only. We are moving away from the, the, the we're not moving away, there will still always be a free service. In the free service though, you will only be able to look at your general stats. You will not be able to see um, opponent stats, you won't be able to see the calendar, you won't be able to do as much research as you would be able to do in the premium version. So the premium version is where you are going to get the most out of the program and be able to study up on your opponents and plan race strategy. So app.draginsights.com is where you'll sign up. Uh, when you do sign up for a premium membership, you will get two stickers in the mail. Put those on the car. That enters you for the contingency program. If you run stock, super stock, super comp, super gas, I don't care how many categories you run, you sign up one time and you're good for every single one of those categories. You do not have to sign up one time for each car. So this carries over. When you win or runner up, you will be awarded. Now this is in NHRA National, Divisional, National Opens, and some special events also. Uh, potential class wins at certain events, things like that. Um, you will be awarded an extension on your membership. So for $4.99 a month, you can get a premium membership to Drag Insights uh, for $50 a year, you can get a premium membership to Dragon Sites. If you win, you will be extended one more year. If you win often, you will keep it getting extended. If you choose, you can gift that extension to one of your friends.
to a parent, to a crew chief, to a fellow racer. So you have that option as well. So app.dragonsights.com, take your racing to the next level. And the power rankings too, which is a fan favorite right now, uh, that's gonna keep growing and growing and you'll be included in that. Also, you forgot to mention, did you mention about adding pictures? We, all adding pictures, adding pictures of your dog. Too. That's like a thing people oh, are doing. We have a whole dog dog thing going on right now. I believe this gentleman over here, yep. Ray yep. Thurston, you added a picture of your dog, right? Yep. Winter circle picture with yep. a dog, even better. Hey Bobby, so if people run multiple cars and they bought a membership, can they get double stickers or how does that work? Oh yeah, we'll send you as many as you need. Yeah, you will say in, in the sign up what classes you run mm -hmm. and then we'll know how many stickers to send you. So this is the sticker here. Let's put one on. Let's, Let's put one on. Now anybody that puts decals on knows that we always have to make sure it's completely perfectly straight even though the cars can be on a slant. Sticker placement is critical. Sticker placement is critical. All right, who has the other microphone? Tom? Here, Ray, I'm gonna stick, uh, I'm gonna stick this on you. Putting the pressure on me. All right, you guys got to tell me if it's straight. Okay, just don't cover the R in Hoosier, but that is perfectly straight. I can see by the bottom of the door. We got a nice straight line there. No air bubbles. He is a professional sticker placer. <laughs> it's just that easy. Classic design, classic logo. Throwing the monkey wrench in the pro teams. Anybody can do the research that the pro teams do now. Yep. Ray, what do you rate? You're a bracket racer, but you also race uh, NHRA uh, classes as um, well, right? Yep, and I'd like to get back into it. Uh, I built a 1968 Barracuda. Um, bracket racing it now with a bracket motor and a, and a two-speed uh, built by BTE. And uh, I would like to uh, switch it over to the 383 combination, run a little bit of Super H automatic or GTH automatic. Ooh. Um, that's the plan. And then uh, Thomas Baker's invited me to drive this car when he gets his other one done. So we're going to do a little bit of that too. So. Wow, that that sounds good. Where do you come from? Originally I'm from Tawanda, Pennsylvania, up near uh, New York State border. Uh, I spent some time in Buffalo, New York. And now I live in Northumberland, uh, like New Media Dragway area, um, central Pennsylvania. <clears throat> Centrally located, so I can get to the divisionals now. We're, in Buffalo, our closest divisional was Norwalk at four hours. Lebanon Valley was four and a half. So now I have a divisional that's 35 minutes away and Maple Grove's less than two hours and uh, same with Cecil County and you know, so on and so forth. Atco's a couple hours away. So uh, that's you know, kind of the idea coming back to Pennsylvania. So we're more centrally located. <clears throat> All right, now, and you coming back to, hopefully coming back to NHRA Superstock. I can't wait to see you there. And then you have a father, you are Ray Thurston <laughs> not the first, not the second, not the yep. third. You are the fourth. Yep, I'm the fourth. Yep. And Ray Thurston, the third, your father runs yep. Top Dragster. Top Sportsman. Or Top Sportsman, yep. okay. So yep. you... He also has a 1968 Barracuda that he bracket races and a uh, 71 Duster 344 speed car uh, that he just restored uh, that he's had since he was in high school. He used to race it back in the 70s and he used to race that in, in East Stick back when that's all there was. That was before bracket racing, you know, so. That's kind of cool. So he's going to get that out this summer and have it. It's going to be a street car now, you know, but uh, it's kind of cool. That's cool. So he can benefit from uh, Drag Insights as well. Absolutely. And you will benefit yeah. from Drag Insights. Yeah. I was just looking it over. It's kind of cool that you can go back and see, all right, I, hey, I owe that guy one, you know, where I'm 0 1 or I'm 2 0 against, you know, so, or he owes me, so I need to step up my game. So, yeah, it's, it's very cool. I, I wish it would have been coming around a lot sooner. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely, definitely useful. Yes, that is true. That is something I forgot to mention. Here, can you hold that camera for me? Absolutely. I wanted to mention to everybody, you can also, in the premium version, you can see your competition. You can see your race history. You can see your record against a bunch of drivers. And yep. as Ray just said, you can see who you owe one to. You got car 1272 on the sheet. You can look up car 1272 and, and see where you're at. You can search by name. You can search by car number. You can search by class yep. and category. Uh, but yeah, it is great. I, you can click over there. You can sort all your uh, your past opponents by uh, wins or by losses. You can see who you're great against, and you can see who you're not so great against. So just another feature. And then if you click on that opponent's name, it'll bring up your race history against that opponent. 
So you don't have to go diving into archives to find all these things. They're right here, right at your fingertips. It's a great program, app.dragonsights.com or just go to dragonsights.com. App.dragonsites.com is where we, we're processing the logins uh, as of right now. Dragonsites.com is a beautiful um, marketing page. You can also log in from, from that page as well. But that is going to take the uh, program to a whole new level once we keep getting bigger and bigger. And um, I would go, go visit both of those pages. Visit dragonsites.com and see the beautiful pictures and the plans on there. You can scroll down and read all about what this program is going to include as time progresses. So for right now, free membership. You will only be able to see your own stats. You won't be able to see your opponents. You won't be able to see your history against other opponents. You will be able to see uh, past events and you can see results from events, but you won't be able to see your stats up against your class either. It also shows you if you're at your average reaction time and then it gives you a little um, meter how well against the rest of the class, the rest of the class that you are running in. So if you are an O average reaction time, it shows you what the, the rest of the drivers, their average is and how you measure up against them. So there's things in this program I'm even forgetting to mention right now. So shame on me. My co-host is we're, over uh, here. We're, we're adding Alicia right now. I believe she's sending a thing. There she is right there. Oh, right. We'll reel the car right now so we can try to get that figured out. Alicia, how's it going? Oh my gosh, this technology. I'm about to scream. I have a migraine. <laughs> Just kidding. Everything's great. Thanks. <laughs> at least oh everybody gosh. was actually awaiting you. I, I don't know how to get the camera to flip back around, so I'm just going to hold it like this. But okay. everything that I've been saying right now, I don't. I hope that um, I've been accurate in, in our descriptions here. Absolutely. Absolutely. I apologize for my technical um, ineptitude in not figuring out how to split screen. Uh, but here we are. You guys have been doing such a good job. It's been so fun to see everybody that you've interviewed and like meet people that I haven't met before. And I can't believe the weather is turning off nice tonight, huh? It is. Yes, it is. And I am right here with uh, Tim Barrett, the winner, the legendary Tim Barrett. Let's put a microphone on him right now. This guy pulled off one for the history books. Wow. Good job. He qualified number one last week. He won Cliss in, in Stock Limiter, G Stock Automatic, and then he won the event also, the Trifecta. It's only been done one other time, I think, in history that we know of, and we're trying to verify that. So that, that could be the first time it's been done. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. And he, he, he will be the benefit of the Drag Insights app because he'll be able to go in there. He'll be able to look up G Stock Automatic. He'll see how he measures up against all the uh, competition and what his average reaction time is against the rest of the competition, what his average ET is, all that good stuff. Right, Tim? Right. Now, we know that you're going to dust the competition, so you don't have to uh, – there won't be any surprises. There won't be any surprises in there for you. <laughs> How's your weekend going so far? It's a shame that it's so sunny out. Look at this blue sky, and we're not racing right now. It's actually after last weekend, it can rain for <laughs> Ever. Well, Tim doesn't care. Average, uh, we've got to go home after the Gators. <laughs> we'll be back in uh, after. So we really want to get this one in. I don't want to predict nothing. But I felt good about last weekend. I feel good about this weekend. So we'll see. But this, nobody said this was easy. Anybody that said this sport is easy, they should take up golf. <laughs> <laughs> they're, out of, they're, they're out of their minds. So, Tim, how yeah. do you feel about an app where you can look at all your own stats, but also look up all the stats of your opponent, his or her average, you know, reaction time and ET and their their trends? And let's say you're going into a, another class, you know, final, you can look them up and see how well they run, you know, in class when they really tune it up. That uh, a program like that, how beneficial do you think that would be oh, to a racer? I think I looked at that before, didn't I? When briefly, when you first started. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was. I spent a lot of time on that, looking at different things. Yeah, you can definitely go down a rabbit hole and just keep looking, searching yeah. drivers up. And I think a lot of the top guys do that. 
you know, they study their opponent, look at their <clears throat> reaction times, you know, what they've done in the past. Somebody like me, of course, they look at Tim Barrett. He can't cut a light. He can't dial his car. So we ain't got to worry about it. And um, it paid off last week. That's right. So now for a couple of years. Now they're looking at Tim Barrett in a whole in a whole new light. Now that now Tim Barrett's got a bullseye on his back. So good to see you, Tim Barrett. Yeah, nice to meet you. I think that's the fun thing, Bobby, right? About like, he's, hey, uh, I am not adding anything to this show at all. You guys are doing amazing. F stop automatic right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but I, I mean, that's like kind of the fun thing about the power rankings, right? Like we can come up with all these percentages and who the big hitters are and kind of, you know, throw some names out there. But that's the fun thing about drag racing is, like, any given Sunday, right? Like, somebody can can come in and, and take the trophy, and it makes it that much more exciting. And, you know, we're not – it's – that's kind of the point is, like, we're not trying to really make predictions. We're trying to just get people to think about drag racing in a different way, like a kind of a data-oriented way. And um, almost, in, almost like you were saying, Bobby, like a fantasy team kind of thinking. Yes. And it really – it really uh... – it got some people talking when when we when we when we mentioned that. So it, that could be a new thing that maybe uh, we should look into. We're gonna have to dive into that. And let's face it, it's harder. It's become harder and harder to win out here. The cars run better. There's been, you know, a stock eliminator car from 10 or 15 years ago is not like a stock eliminator car today. The tires are better. Adjustable shocks. Everybody's got better equipment. And they've become better drivers. So the equipment's better. The drivers are better. So where do you find that winning edge? You have to look somewhere else. And in this case, Drag Insights, boom. You can dial in your own self. And look, some people turn a blind eye. They might not recognize, eh, I'm 040 all the time. But when you see it on paper and you see what your reactions are, your average, maybe it's time to look, you know, look in the mirror and go, I got to get myself a little bit better. Or right. maybe you're just comparing yourself to other people who you race with often and you want to improve your own game or however you want to use, you know, that's the beauty about data. You can use it really however you want. So this is a deal where we give you the data, you analyze it, you take a look at what's going on, and you figure out how you can use it to improve. And there's so many different ways, but this right. is new, it's groundbreaking, you can't get it anywhere else. Uh, especially in a tight package like this, and for four ninety nine a month, how do you go wrong? Even if it's just for entertainment, just to look at it, uh, and even if you're not racing, currently I haven't raced stock in a few years, but I still follow it. I still like to see who's on top of their game, and uh, I'm on there. You have to check it out. Yeah, and there are numerous car owners, spectators, fans. Uh, people have been emailing yeah. me that, that don't even race, that just enjoy uh, certain classes at events and um, just like to like to – that's their way of kind of being involved in, in the sport is to uh, sign up for Drag Insights and see what's going on. They watch racing on TV. They want to know the numbers behind all the racing and the, and the data. So, yeah. yeah. Bob, you've got a massive YouTube following because some guy did a YouTube video on him. Like, yeah, 300,000 views of in car with Bobby rowing the gears. You might want to learn more about a guy like Bobby Fazio. National event winner. Who Iconic. wouldn't want to learn a lot about this? About Iconic, this baby. Absolutely. Totally. Totally. Good. Well, this is great, guys. So nobody, nobody made a pass today. Is that right? Nobody made a run today. They, they were drying the track yeah. early this morning. I was actually flying over the track at 9 o'clock, and I was so close to the track from the airplane that I saw that there were no cars in the lanes, and I was, I was like, oh my god, I guess they're about to start because it, it, it wasn't raining. I could, like, the, the sun was out. I even took a nice picture of the track from the airplane. By the way, it came out pretty good. I tried to do that. And um, landed, text, you know, people, what's going on? They're drying the track. They're calling stock up to the lanes. So I'm hurrying up trying to get here, and then boom, it started raining, and it didn't stop for about uh -oh. six god, hours. That stinks. Hey, Alicia. Hey, how are you? you? What'd you say? I said, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. Uh, they, roped, they roped me into this. I didn't think I'd be doing this. This is not my cup of tea because, well, it's just not. Because you're shy. I, I'm a little shy. Guy, I disagree. But, um, I disagree. No. You're a natural. 
Here's a guy oh, who's, who's you. you're a sweetheart. He's fit. He's got a motorcycle. Yes, more. actually. I know. What's Kenny been doing? He's lost some weight. The man looks ten oh, yeah. years younger. Oh, What's he been doing? He's in shape. Look at him. We might get him to take a shirt yeah. off pretty soon. No, 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 where did this? Where did this buff Kenny come show. from? Hello. Hello. I mean, Sorry, is it hot we, in we here? We were laughing too loud. Kenny we were laughing too loud. So, it's great. I'm having a great time, and uh, yeah, I can't believe you guys. Tell us about the class race for nationals. Well, we got the class race for nationals coming up. I don't. It's not going to really affect with you guys because I mean, you know, it's not. We're not an NHRA data there, but but it's kind of a cool race. And all the stock guys. It's still you. It's all right. We can use. We can get an, an entry list, a pre-entry list, and we can maybe come up with some power rankings. Power. Right. Yeah, because it's just you know, well, it's just about stock and super stock. Everybody's treated like gold, and I, I, I pretty much greet everybody that comes through the gate. So it, I went last year; it was a real fun event. It's at the yeah. Dragway. Cool. Where can people learn more about classracer.com? You'll see a thread that says Class Racer Nationals, or you can just contact me, and I'll give you any information. I talk to everybody. I don't, I do not, do not. I respond to every email I get. Um, so and I'll explain everything to you. But there's a flyer listed on it, and there's also a flyer on a Facebook page, Class Racer. Two days. Two eliminators. Two, right. Two, How much to win? So you win five thousand each eliminator. Five thousand. Five K to win. Five K for stock. Five right. K for super stock. It's not a combo race. Both days. Both days. You don't have to. You don't have to race um, uh, a stock, a super stocker with a trans brake in it and all that stuff. So it's totally separate. No matter how many cars, it will be totally separate. Uh, also, uh, we have another thing. We're going to give uh, money out for uh, uh, people that qualify, the top qualifiers. But it's a little, a little different. We're going to pick the qualifiers on Sunday morning. Out of a hat, 10 qualifiers in each class, and the top three are going to win money. Number one is 500, number two is 300, number three would be a 200. And we're just going to we're just going to do it random because it's an open, and you know we just don't want we're just going to do it random. I think it'd be the best, the fairest way to do it than just having the top the guys exciting. go one night under and just take the money we want. You know, hopefully, guys in the middle of the hat. But Kenny has so a lot of fun with it. They did like the previous car last qualifier year. Qualifier could be the number 15 qualifier on the sheet. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so it's not oh, exactly. That's you had exactly awards for like dirtiest car last year, worst package, yes. longest tow. <laughs> longest tow. Uh, we give out a practice piece to guys with the worst package because they need. It. And I got a whole. Oh, that's the top best. Top I love this. Perk awards. No top stock. We didn't get. Uh, it's a bummer. We just didn't get the support. Our, our sponsors said if you're not going to get the cars, we want to do something else. But we have a second chance race. Which is always popular. That paid 500 to win last year. You no, know, that pays 2,500 to win this year. Second place, uh, 60 dollars to get in, or roughly. But it's on the flyer. But what's great about it is that oh, here it is. Oh, here you go. I'm That's cheap. 60, 60. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I put All the right. Flyer there you go. So, okay, and he's good with graphic design. Yes. Yes. And, 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 Oh, let's see. Uh, yeah, two thousand to win. I'm sorry. Uh, um, and a sixty-four car field, sixty dollars entry fee. All the money goes back to the races. Sixty no bucks to win two grand. Can't go wrong. Because everybody wants a second chance. The best part last year was you riding around in the back of the pickup truck giving out donuts and coffee. Yes. Well, the girls were the best part. Because, uh, yeah, but I, I'm more into the donuts and coffee. So it's a cool race, but let's talk about this. This is more important. This is what we're here for. And uh, I love it. I love the idea that for a guy that's a little bit lazy, it's perfect for me. Dan doesn't like it. Sal don't like it because they work good. They've always They're hard workers. Good. They're hard workers. We They're like to work smarter and not harder, right, Ken? And technology is here. You're just not here. Exactly. I love that type of thing. Anything else I can say to you? Ah, oh, here's Mr. Fletcher. Fletcher. Come on. Come oh, on over. There we go. Come on, dog. And, uh, You're on. I'm just talking about the fast <laughs> racer. Sal Cuddy. I know, but he's the guy that behind the scenes. He is the man. He's the lawyer. It's all him. <laughs> All right, we have a Tim Fletcher spotting. He's got two dogs. He's got a wife, and he's got a newborn baby. This guy is living the oh dream. Oh, my goodness. He's got the whole package. She's like, what is happening? He is on a mission. He is on a mission. You know what? I think he's upset yeah. because, because we have Drag Insights, and it's and, and he's a hardworking racer. Absolutely. And, you know... <laughs> Bobby, maybe he's not on the. May, is he not on the power rankings, Bobby? He, you know what? I don't know if he was on the power rankings. No. Who's that? Timothy? Yeah. I don't think he has enough data for him. I think that was it. I think that's why he didn't show up on my uh, on my watch list. When I looked at his numbers compared to my numbers from 15 and up, I'm better numbers, and that's just not. He's, his, his, his driving skill blows mine away. Timothy is just like his dad. So I don't think he has enough data in it for him. Right, so that's why he wasn't showing up on our power rankings. The power rankings are screened and screened. And screened again. 
and screened again. What, what kind of dogs are these? Who's the dog expert here? Is that, is that a pit bull? <laughs> Tim, what really kind of dogs do we have? Like uh, they are pit bulldog. Pit bulldog. Okay. That was right. <laughs> and how are you? Good, how are you? What's your name, miss? Deanna Fletcher. Deanna Fletcher, and you have a nice newborn baby here. What is her, her name? This is Bristol. She's Bristol. three weeks old. Three weeks old. Now you're official. This baby's first oh, interview. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what a cute little kid. Where do you guys uh, live now? Um, we're close to Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. Now, Deanna, have you ever raced a car before? I have not. Okay. Are you planning on doing it one of these days? Maybe one day. All right. What do you do uh, for a living? Um, I'm a nurse. I'm a night nice nurse. All right. Good. There's a couple gentlemen behind me that might get injured tonight, so <laughs> it's, good. it's a good thing you're here. I'm off duty now. I'm running <laughs> All right. Well, we hope you have a good time. I work at the Diva Desk in the spring playing. I'm also at the class racer help desk. So oh, right. Yes. I rem yes. Yep. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So nurse and racing administrative uh, guru. Excellent. All right. Well, we will let you go. We know you were on a walk with the dogs and the baby. Bristol, three weeks old and, and taking a little nap. So maybe we should talk to you loud. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Deanna. I don't have a mic. All oh, right, here's your mic, your mic back. Alicia uh, departed. Oh, all right, I'm, I'm getting out of here, too. I got to uh, hit Our, the screens. Okay. Where are you going? I'm going to go to dinner. It's uh, Jill's birthday. Oh, tell her happy birthday. I will. I promised her dinner. Bobby, thank you so much. Alicia, all right. Drag Insights, we're going to rock yes. it out. Yes. Drag Racing Edge Magazine, check it out. Classracer.com. We got so much going on in modern drag racing. Bobby's Forbes, doing an awesome job. Racing. Bobby, you've been to the race, right? What do you think yeah. of Class Racer Nationals? Class Racer Nationals is amazing. I've raced in it twice. I did driver interviews there last year uh, while racing in it, and I had a good time. I uh, got to interview Jason Line at that race last year. And I talked to him today, and he says I want to try to make it. All right. So that'd be cool. yeah. Excellent. That would be wonderful. All right. So, as said, this was our this was our happy hour with uh, Drag Insights. Everybody's kind of just been coming and going, and we had a great time. So app.draginsights.com, sign up for a premium membership. We hope to see you on there. Uh, and check out the power rankings for this weekend. All right, that's my name is Bobby Fazio signing off from the 2022 NHRA Gator Nationals. You can check me out, Class Racing Today podcast, and driver interviews with Bobby Fazio, uh, of which I've already done two driver interviews that I will probably upload later on tonight after I get a chance to edit and render them. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Have a good one. Take care. Everybody say goodbye. Goodbye.